Hello, I'm Dr. Ji Bang, a neurologist and the clinical director of the Johns Hopkins Huntington Disease Center. We're proud to celebrate our 40th anniversary of providing premier clinical care to our patients and families, as well as leading basic translational and clinical research in Huntington disease. In addition, we're celebrating our 20th year as a designated Huntington Disease Society of America Center of Excellence. Huntington disease, or HD, is a progressive fatal neurodegenerative disease that is in inherited in an autosomal dominant manner. HD is caused by the CAG trinucleotide repeat expansion in the Huntington gene, which encodes an expanded polyglutamine stretch in the Huntington protein. HD has been confirmed in all races across the globe. In North America and Europe, the prevalence is up to 1 in 10,000. Age of onset is often between 30 to 50 years, with disease duration around 15 to 20 years. Juvenile and late onset forms of HD also exist, but adult onset HD is much more common. The clinical manifestations of HD involve a triad of motor, cognitive, and emotional symptoms. Motor symptoms commonly include chorea, bradykinesia, dystonia, imbalance, and impaired gait. Chorea is the most common motor symptom present in over 90% of people with HD. It is important to note, however, that other motor symptoms, including incoordination, imbalance, and bradykinesia, can be even more disabling. Cognitive symptoms of HD predominantly involve executive function impairment, including working memory deficit, poor planning and organization, and impulsivity, progressing to global dementia. Emotional symptoms are very common and often disabling, and may include irritability, anxiety, apathy, depression, obsessions, and compulsions. We have expertise in treating these emotional symptoms, which can often substantially improve outcomes. Genetic testing for an abnormal expansion of the CAG trinucleotide repeat in the disease-causing Huntington gene can be done either in the pre-symptomatic stage or to confirm clinical diagnosis. We have extensive experience in predictive testing and genetic counseling. There's currently no cure for HD. However, many symptomatic treatments are available, including those that effectively reduce chorea and improve behavioral symptoms. Fascicular monoamine transporter 2 inhibitors, or VMAT2 inhibitors, such as tetrabenazine and dutetrabenazine, are effective at treating chorea and second-generation neuroleptics can address chorea and many of the emotional symptoms. Antidepressants are also commonly used to treat depression and anxiety in HD. Behavioral and social work management can be equally important, and we have resources and expertise in these areas. Current clinical trials have diverse targets and modalities, including gene-based therapies, small molecules, and immunomodulating agents, many of which are designed to slow down the progression of HD. For example, we're using antisense oligonucleotides and microRNA to deliver experimental gene-based therapies in clinical trials. Routes of administration range from oral to intravenous to intrathecal and intracerebral. In addition, we're studying biomarkers, including brain imaging, to track the brain changes in HD and predict clinical features and response to treatment. While the search for HD disease modification continues vigorously, it is critical to optimize the patient's quality of life by providing ongoing multidisciplinary care, including physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, palliative care, and social work support. We have a multidisciplinary clinic incorporating all these modalities. In summary, we provide an extensive array of clinical services, as well as advanced clinical research with the ultimate goal of not just slowing down the progression of HD, but delaying or conceivably preventing its onset. Being a single gene disease, HD can provide a model for other neurodegenerative diseases with the potential for preventive precision medicine. Thank you for your attention.